every detail executed meticulously. From the procession ushering in the man of the moment to the accompanying musical interludes, the enthronement of the Anglican Church of Kenya's sixth archbishop had the hallmarks of an occasion befitting the historical significance it carried. And when the man of the moment resplendent in his flowing new robes, marking his rise into the ranks of national leadership, made that maiden walk to take his place, it was to a rapturous reception. Enable you to be merciful. The handover of the instruments of power and authority came accompanied with an agenda that he has to fulfill. The incoming Archbishop aptly reminded of what he needs to do and that he will have to hit the ground running. You will find tribulation from the world around, a world in which this country is very familiar with suffering, with terrorism, with the cruelty and brutality that has happened in countries around. We see most people embracing and becoming behaviors like selfishness, bribery, corruption, political and economic sabotage, mass killings, human trafficking, divorce, same-sex marriages. His first address perhaps setting out what his administration will focus on, development anchored on peaceful political coexistence. The only threat to this progressive vision are the disruption of peace that come with every electioneering circle, corruption, unhealthy competition to ascend to power and the attend, attendant stalking of, up of negative ethnicity, the cancer of modern day Kenya. He particularly picked on the issue of highly competitive elective politics and their effects on development. It is therefore my prayer that one day the president, his deputy and the court principals may take a retreat together and have sufficient time to talk about that beautiful Kenya. challenge that was accepted by the political leadership present here. Together, God will give us the grace as leaders in this country so that we can build cords of friendship and bonds of brotherhood. Tulete pamoja, tuonge, tusafiri pamoja kama wa Kenya. Wengine wetu sisi tuko tiari kujadiliana na ndiyo tuhakikishe ya kwamba tuko na amani katika inchi yetu. Tuhakikishe ya kwamba tuko na uchaguzi ambao naweza kufanyika kwa njia ya amani kwa sababu nasema kila siku ya kwamba uchaguzi sio kusema ya kwamba sisi ni maadui jameni. He also says he intends to grow the church's 5 billion shillings worth of assets into greater prosperity. With his enthronement as the leader of the SEK Church in Kenya, Dr. Jackson Olesa Pitt now takes on a mantle of a national leader whose views will be sought especially on topical issues in the country. Brenda Wanga, NTV, Nairobi.